Let me say it bold, loud, and clear. The problem of insecurity in Nigeria lies on the table of Muhammad Buhari. If Muhammad Buhari is ready today to stop all this insecurity, he has the power, he has the ability, and he knows what to do. You can read my lips. He knows what to do. The reason why he's not doing it, I don't really understand. The reason why he's not showing enough energy and effort and direction and interest and concern in this, I really don't understand. For a person who was a general in the Nigerian army, he looks a little bit too complacent, a little bit too lackadaisical concerning this issue of insecurity. The insecurity problem starts first with a tone at the top. For the last four years, you had a bunch of security leaders who were disunited, quarreling amongst themselves. They couldn't agree on anything. They couldn't fight behind one common purpose. And a lot of them were just doing whatever they wanted. And the gentleman, Buhari, was looking at them, looking at them. Everybody told him, these people are not united. These people are not working together. These people have different agendas. And he did nothing about it. And so that can't work. It can't continue. Now we have a new set of security leaders. Let us hope that these ones can come together and face this problem. You know, how can you capture 257 girls and we don't know where they are? It's not possible in this day and age with technology and everything. Do you know the amount of effort it takes to move 250 people across a certain place and nobody saw them? and you can't find them, and they disappear, and they say this girl, Leah Sharibu, she's captured, she's having babies every year, and you can't find her. What does that mean? What nonsense is that? And you are telling us that she had baby. Who made that announcement that she had baby? Where's the person? Why don't you bring him and say, where's the baby that you saw, and where's the girl? And we can't find her, and we cross our hands, and we're looking. If Leah Sharibu was my daughter, I would go to wherever she is and go and pick her out and look for her. But we're looking because, you see, we're not really serious about these things. People come into a village, they rape the village, 20 of them, they carry the women, they carry the children, and we cannot find them. Who does that in this day and age? It doesn't happen. A man comes, they pick up a man, they take him into a forest, they cut his head, eight of them, they are speaking, they are videoing it, we're seeing them, and not one person said, where are we going to look for these people? There was, no, there was no call for these people. They videoed it, and they sent it to us, and we saw it. And nobody did anything. I mean, how can that happen? How can that happen? And all these headsmen that are in the forest, all these kidnappers, the police know them. The police know where to find them. But nobody is engaging. Nobody is trying. It's a business. It's a business. People are making money from this thing. People are selling arms to these people. People are making money from security votes. People are making money. From the, from, the, from the pain and the death of innocent people. And that's why this problem is not being solved. And somehow we are looking away. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.